Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can write x times x times x as x raised to power 3, then minus x times x as x raised to power 2, and equals to 100 from here. The next step, we take 100 to the left hand side, and we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 and minus 100 then equals to 0 from here and next step here we can express 100 as 125 minus 25 then next step what we have becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 then minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close bracket then equals to zero from share and here minus open this bracket and we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 and minus 125 then minus times minus that's plus so we have plus 25 which is equals to zero here the next step here 125 same thing as 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 raised to power 3. And also 25, that's 5 times 5, which is 5 raised to power 2. And here, this equation becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2, then minus 5 raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 2, then equals to 0 from here. The next step, we bring the power of 3 together. That is x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3. Then also the power of 2 together, that's minus x raised to power 2 plus 5 raised to power 2, then equals to 0 from here. Then we can write this as x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets. Then also here, minus is common, we factor it out, we have minus into bracket. x squared, then we have minus 5 raised to the power 2 left, close bracket, then equals to 0 from here. Then from here, this first bracket follows on we have a raised to the power 3 minus b raised to the power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets. Then open brackets a squared plus a b plus b squared. Then also the second bracket follows when we have a squared minus b squared, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, then open bracket a plus b. That is we rewrite what we have here, and this becomes. The first bracket we have x minus 5 into bracket, then open bracket x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared, close bracket, then minus. Second bracket here become into bracket x minus 5, close bracket, then open bracket x plus 5, close bracket, then equals to 0 from here. That is, here, yeah, x minus 5 is common. We factor it out and we have x minus 5 into brackets. Then open brackets. Here, we are left with x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared, which is 25. Then here, we are left with minus into bracket x plus 5. Then close this bracket, which is equals to 0 from here. That is, yeah, we can write this as x minus 5 into brackets, then open bracket. Here we have x squared plus 5x plus 25. Then this minus open this bracket. We have minus x, then minus 5, plus bracket, then equals to 0 here. That is,
we can bring this bracket together and we have x minus 5 into brackets then open brackets here we have x square then 5x minus x become plus 4x and 25 minus 5 that's plus 20 this bracket now equals to 0 from here that is here we have two possible cases x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here then on this side this becomes x equals to 5 which is a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20 that is applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac all over 2a then what we have becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1 then here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared as 16 then minus 4 times 1 times 20 that gives us 80 then all over 2 here that is we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 that's minus 64 over 2 that is here yeah. We can write that x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 all over 2. And when we have root a times b, we can write that as root a times root b. And when we separate this, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 all over 2 that is here this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 that's 8 and root minus 1 that's i all over 2 which implies 2 is common up here we factor it out and we have x equals to 2 into brackets here we have minus 2 and plus or minus 4i left then over 2 here yeah, 2 cancel each other we have x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4i at this here we have two complex solutions here and all together we have three solutions one real here and two complex here when we write it out you can see the first one x1 equals to 5 and x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i then x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i. So here, all together, we have three solutions, one ray and two complex. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.